Hey, this is Jesse Cole, America's Student Life and Leadership Coach. And I want to talk to you today about the difference between an employee and a partner. Recently, uh, I had a meeting with a gentleman who had been on his job for about 12 or 13 years. Um, I was sitting in his office for a couple of hours. And um, as I was sitting there, different people were coming in and out of his office asking him questions. Different people from uh, different departments were coming to his office to, to ask him questions about you know, things that were going on throughout the workday. And as I began to observe this, um, I asked him, well, I told him, I, I, I informed him. I said, man, you are a brand. He said, what do you mean, Mr. Cole? I said, you are a brand. You've established yourself as a wealth magnet and a wealth resource. Everybody comes to you for answers. He was like, I never thought of it like that. And as I began to, to even process it even further, after I left his office, um, began to you know ponder everything that transpired throughout that day um i realized that you can either you can either look at yourself as an employee or you can look at yourself as a partner an employee or a partner you can see yourself as filling out an application or filling out um a contract you can see yourself as filling out um uh, um, a memorandum of, of understanding or you can see yourself filling out something that's going to just bind you to work. There's a difference between having an employee mentality versus a partner mentality. And I want to share a couple of things with you that I thought about after I left that meeting and I really hope that it adds value to your life. Number one, employees see hurdles but partners see opportunity. Right. Employees see hurdles, but partners see opportunity just because it hasn't been done doesn't mean that it can't be done. We know there's always politics in the workplace. There's always politics in your school or wherever you are. There's always going to be some bureaucracy there. But just because it hasn't been done doesn't mean that it can't be done. Employees say, well, it hasn't been done, so I'm not even going to try to do it. Right. Partners say, you know what? It hasn't been done. I'm going to try to find a respectful way to see if this can be done, whatever it is. Right. To, to add value to, to the workplace. Right. Employees see hurdles, but partners or brands, they see opportunity. Number two, employees engage in a pouty talk, but partners engage in power talk. Employees engage in pouty talk. Uh, what's not been done? And I don't like this person. or I don't like my boss or I'm not being done right. But partners engage in power talk. It's easy to talk about what's what's not happening or the deficiencies in your workplace. But true leaders, they uh, create or they seek out solutions to problems. Right. I've been in workplaces where people were complaining all the time about what's not happening or, you know, if, if I was a boss, I would do this. Well, I'm like, you know, what? Well, once you have that that partner mentality, have that boss mentality, no matter where you're working, you in your mind should have the spirit of the person that is your superior and you should operate as a partner, as a brand and not an employee. All right. Number number three, employees go to work and wait for someone to tell them what to do. But brands or partners, they can create their own workflow. Right. You should always try to find a way to better yourself or to increase your capacity or or looking for ways to challenge yourself within your scope of responsibilities. Got some good eating right there. Employees go to work and wait for somebody to tell them what to do. But brands or partners, they can create their own workflow. I really hope that helped you. Remember that what you want to become depends on your willingness to become it. Have a great day.